I should have chopped the screw this new bong right here. But I ain't got no damn coding. Foodies! What's up, what's up, everybody? How you doing? It's your boy Debo Life right here. And thank you so much for coming by the Debo Life Food Vibes channel. Your channel for 1990s hip-hop and RB lifestyle. Foodies! Like you, me, and we. Before we get started, got some great news, y'all. I got a COVID shot. That's right, your boy is fully vaccinated. Yes! <coughs> <coughs> anyway, y'all, we have some beef and cheddar classic sandwiches from Arby's and some curly fries right here. So, you know how I get down. Let's do an unwrapping first. We're going to unwrap these bad boys and we got to put some of the curly fries on the sandwich. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, Deep Life, because I know y'all hungry. I'm hungry too. And so, we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Oh, okay. I see. What, okay. I see y'all. I see y'all. Got the cheese dripping off right here. Got the cheese on the packet right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these curly fries on here for us, all right? And again, if you don't like fries on your sandwich, all I can say is give it a shot. Give it a try, y'all. Just try it. Try it. Try it. All right? So, here we go, y'all. Here we go. The classic with the curly fries. All right? Y'all ready to eat? Let's eat, y'all. I'm hungry. Cheers. Let's do this. Mmm. 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 Boy, stop. Mmm. That's some roast beef right there, y'all. Usually I'll do Arby sauce. I'm gonna do the Arby sauce this one. We'll do Arby sauce and this one right here. Matter of fact, let's go unwrap this one too while we at it. I wanna make sure y'all get something y'all system too. So we got this one right here. And we'll go ahead and put the Arby sauce in this one right here, y'all. Let's go ahead and put some of these curly fries on it right quick. Oh, look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. There we go. Let's put some Arby sauce in this one, y'all. Feel some of this right there. There we go. All right. Mmm. Mmm. I do have a word of encouragement for y'all, okay? And my word of encouragement for y'all is to travel. Mm. Yeah, I'm traveling, y'all. Think about it. We be cooped up. This one's cheese from this wrapper right here. We been cooped up doing the whole quarantine thing for over a year. Um. God willing, we're in a place now that we can do what we want to do now. So, go ahead and travel. I plan on traveling this year, y'all. I want to head to Chicago. I want to head to LA. And I definitely want to head back down to Houston. Let me go ahead and tell you about my experience down in Houston right quick, y'all. I took a trip with my homeboy, Josiah, down in Houston, Texas, back in 97, for the 4th of July. And... I was living out in Mesa, Arizona, and he was like, oh man, come on down to Houston with me. I said, cool. And he was from the Missouri City part of Houston. So we get down there, I had the time of my life, the best two days of my life. So, here you go. My bad, see ya. So, I got on Greyhound. I head back to Arizona. I get to Arizona. The first thing I tell my brother is like, dog, I am out. And I straight moved down there like probably like a month later. The first thing that I really thought about when I moved down there and what I experienced was the rap tunes that were coming out and the culture of the Houston, Texas area. So, uh -oh. I was introduced to a culture of Houston which included the Botney Boys, which included Fat Pat, R.I.P., and definitely included Lil Kiki. You know what I'm saying? But the main thing I remember, and it, it still sticks in my head to this day, was that bomb ass radio station down there. It's still there to this day, um, 97 out of the box. Y'all, they had a mix show called The Thunderstorm. And those DJs were off the chain. You had 
Ben Green, Mr. Greenster, you had Mad Hatter, and you had Michael 5000 Watts. And those guys by themselves made the radio station off the chain. It was off the hinges, you know what I'm saying? That radio station, 979, the box, that radio station allowed me to fully understand and fully embrace the Houston, Texas culture. You know what I'm saying? But I will say though, the main culture shop, and I mean this in a good way, y'all, the main culture shop of me going down there. was the first time I heard DJ Screw. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. And trip me out, me and my homeboy, we were rolling through Third Ward, right? He pops in this gray Maxell tape into his tape deck. And I start hearing music, and I was like, one, two thing. One, I was in my second OE 40 ounce. Two, either his tape deck is all jacked up, or his battery about to die. Because his tape going slow as hell. But he was, he was bobbing his head, something serious though. He was right bobbing his head. And then, some other fool rolled by, and he was bumping the same music. All slow music. So I was like, dog, what you what, what is this? What we listening to right now? He was like, man, this is DJ Screw right here, man. I said, okay, interesting, but turn this damn fan on, y'all. So, I realized at that point, like, DJ Screw, he was a true mainstay in Houston, Texas. So essentially, DJ Screw, he invented Chopped and Screw music. He took hip hop and RB joints and sometimes in complete albums and he would straight slow them down to a real slow pace. But the way he went about it was like, damn, it's mad. Like, okay. I mean, he slowed he slowed them down something serious, y'all. He would also slow down the instrumentals and have his screw, the uh, screwed up clip, straight freestyle to him. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Again, it goes back to the whole culture thing, y'all. Culture. Now, legend has it. All right, get some cheese on here, y'all. The first song that DJ Screw screwed up or slowed down, chopped up, was Brandy. I want to be down. I need to go, let me go ahead and get rid of this damn rapper right quick, y'all. And DJ Screw, he would sell those gray Maxell tapes out of his shop down on the south side. Oh, and. All of Houston was bumping it, y'all. I think the most screw tapes I had was like 20 of them. I had about 20 screw tapes. Them screw tapes were off the hinges. Worth thinking about it. I should have chopped the screw this moot bong right here. But I ain't got no damn coding. But yeah, DJ Screw, Southside Houston, Northside Houston, A Leaf, Missouri City, all them boys. That culture was something else. And I'm pretty sure it still is. But I'm talking about when I went down there back in 97 and, and lived there for a while. A couple of years, y'all. It truly blew my mind away. And I love that city to this day, y'all. Put on your bucket list, y'all. Go and get down there. Say bye-bye. Mm. No. Travel. Just want to share that with y'all, man. So get out there. Do what you got to do. Enjoy life and do great things in life. I know you can. It's your boy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whoop, whoop. Love y'all. And Houston, Texas, love you to death. You're going to see me sooner rather than later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love all y'all, man. It's your boy, Debo Life, right here. And we will vibe out soon. All right? Whoop, whoop. You already know. Peace out.